And where we are, as the sun comes up, it's a little bit brighter, and we can start to make out some of the damage. The boats behind me, heavy-duty nylon sails have been torn like paper napkins, and there's no doubt that Dorian is getting stronger as it makes its way toward the coast. With me now is the mayor of Charleston, John Tecklenburg. As you see those pictures from our correspondent there, Jamie Yukis, what are your biggest concerns? Well, Tony, thanks for being with us. Uh, sorry about the inhospitable weather. Uh, it should be better by tomorrow, by the way. Uh, we're concerned about the continued wind and uh, flooding potential for today. Thankfully, uh, our citizens are staying put, and I'm asking for everybody to stay indoors until this passes so everyone remains safe. You say, thankfully, your citizens are staying put. The governor said the water is what kills, and these people along the coast, 830,000 of them, should get out of town. Your people are staying. Does that concern you? Well, it's, it's too late to evacuate. A number of folks left, a number of folks stayed, but they're hunkered down inside, and uh, we ask them to remain that way for the rest of the day. Today is Dorian Day in Charleston. Uh, we're starting to get reports. About 80,000 people are without power. Uh, we've got a number of reports on trees down and traffic lights out and that kind of thing. Uh, we have crews standing by to recover all those things, but we're also waiting for the weather to get better before we send them out. Charleston's a unique city. It's got a triple threat from Dorian here. There's the storm surge, there's the wind, there's the rain, there's also the high tide. That's right. What concerns you the most as we head toward high tide around midnight tonight? Right. Well, I was really worried about last night's high tide at 1 a.m., but it wasn't as bad as had been predicted. Uh, they were predicting about a nine-foot tide for 2 o'clock this afternoon, so we're concerned about that in, in conjunction with the rain. But if everybody just stays put, we'll be safe. And uh, then later today and tomorrow, we'll, we'll be cleaning up and pumping out and uh, getting, getting back in business. All right, Mayor uh, John Tecklenburg, thank you very much. Glad to hear things are, uh, are better than expected here in Charleston, at least so far. But you're keeping a close eye on it. Come back soon. All right, thank, thank you. you.